Welcome back to another video. It's a beautiful day. It's nice overcast. Not a lot of sun. So we're starting our joist layout this morning. We've got our beams done yesterday. Everything's taped up. We're gonna get our layout completed and then we're gonna start running some joists in a few hours. Been trying to protect what I've been building, been on defense. Celebrating our friends and we gon' up there when we touch down. Be wild, shout out to my homies working. Okay, so I'm starting my layout and I've been primarily working off this center beam and double checking on either end. So the deck has, the deck is 20 feet deep. It is all 12 on center spacing. So that makes it really easy for us when we're laying everything out. So I'm picking a control starting point and I'm gonna start with six feet. That's the depth of our catwalk. But again, because everything is 12 on center, it's gonna work equally through there. So I'm just gonna start with my six foot, make a mark. Um, I've already transferred that mark on the beam and I'm gonna go to each end of the deck and transfer that. So once we got each end marked, we can then transfer those marks continuously along each end beam as well as the center beam. And then from there, we're only snapping 30 feet. And then same thing, we'll pull from the center, snap this way 30 feet, and then all our, all our marks will be transferred and we can start round joists on them. I transferred my mark on each end now. So what I'm going through is I'm gonna do my 12 on center layout. And then once these are all laid out on this beam and then the far beam, we'll do the same in the middle and then we'll snap our lines all the way through. It's a layer, my life like a movie, just keep moving, it's a trailer. Shopping in my kitchen, got me trying to get my cake up. Thank God for all this coming, tell me not straight up. All in my core, I strap, it's a layer. We're ready to start running some joists. Before we install them, we need to do two things. We need to crown each joist. It's easy to do it once it's in the pile. So what we'll do is we'll pick up each framing member, we'll have a look at it, determine which way the crown is, make a mark. Now, secondly to that, before we start running our joists, we need to grade all of them. We need to measure each one of these and label them in the size of their end. The reason we grade all of our joists before we install them is if we don't, you're gonna have high low spots as you're going. So the deck board is gonna follow consistency of the framework. So if you have high and low members, your boards are gonna do this. If you grade them all prior, you're gonna eliminate most of that. Some ways that I've been thinking, been trying to protect what I've been building, been on defense. Celebrating our friends and we gon' up there when we touch down. Be wild, shout out to my homies working sundown. I should call my sister for some custom gold fronts now. So already shine, I need no diamond roll it bust down. No matter how far I can't forget the high position. If you ain't been running uh, boss let me leave early the other day to uh, attend my graduation, but uh, I'm back. I'm telling you right now, blue collar is the way to go. Work with your hands, work outside, uh, enjoy your day, stay active. Happy to see the work they've got done here and I'm ready to uh, ready to kick it back in action now that I'm back. Let's go. So shout out to True Work here. My life like a movie, just keep moving, it's a trailer. Shopping in my kitchen, got me trying to get my cake up. I think I all this coming to me. Getting ready to cut our first rim joist on this deck. So we set up the Stabila. We put it on our six foot mark away from the home on this side and that side. So we got it all squared up against the house and it shot that perfect 90 degree perpendicular line this way. So from that reference point, we pull the measurement back towards where we need our rim joist to be. And now we can use this as a control measurement going forward for all the, the bridging in between each joist base section. In here, I'm uh, just bending up some metal on the brake. We are flashing the old rim joist on the house because we are not uh, attaching this deck to the house. So basically I'm just putting just the metal flashing on there just to basically give it a nice protected seal. My life like a movie, just keep moving, it's a trailer. Shopping in my kitchen, got me trying to get my cake up. Thank God for all this coming to me now. We've completed putting the rim joist around the, the, the big part of the deck here. We've cut our corners out for the stairs. And the next step is just to complete the joists that are going along the catwalk here that uh, surrounds the corner of the, uh, the cottage. That's a wrap for this week's video. Thank you everyone for watching. Stay tuned for next week's video where we work on our skirting framework and all the blockings for this deck. We'll catch you on the next one.